we are going to look into some task utility functions. Um, I have two tasks created here. Uh, my first task will print hello world with a number that increments every one second and task two will just print hello there. Um, the first task utility function that we will look into is uh, x task get current task handle. Now if you remember this, um, if I want the task to delete itself, so if let's say count is 3, I want the task to delete itself, so v task delete and I can just use the task1 handler here. But uh, there's another way of doing this. <coughs> what I'm going to do is I'm going to create another variable uh, with the variable type task handle underscore t and I'm going to go call it uh, task handler, just task hand. And task hand equals to x task get current task handle. So the current task handler will be inside this task handle, this task hand that I've just created, and I can use task hand here to delete the task. So if I run this program, I can say it prints hello world one, two, three, and once it reaches three, it just deletes itself. So it doesn't print hello world anymore. Uh, if you want to get the, uh, the task handler for the idle task, uh, you can just use uh, idle task handle. So x task get idle task handler. So you can use it to delete the idle hook or maybe suspend it or resume it. Um, if I want to get the name of a task, uh, I can do that too in a way. Um, for example, let's say printf the task do has a name which is mod d sorry mod s and um, I want to get the name of task tool which is here task tool let me give some interesting name I will call it cat and I will call task tool as this dog so I want to get the name of task tool which is going to be dog so the function that I'm going to use is pc Task get name and in here I'm going to use the handler for this corresponding task. So from task handler I'm pulling the name out. So if I do that uh, and if I run the program again, There it says the task two has a name dog. So I can get the name of a particular task through the task handler. And I can also do it around. I can also get the task handler uh, by using its corresponding name. So let's say for example, if count equals to three, I want to delete task two. So I can use v task delete. And instead of using task to handle, I can use this name dog. And I'm going to use the function x task get handle. And I will use the string name, which is dog. So let me run this program. So it prints hello world one, two, and three, and then it stops printing hello hey there. Hey there is supposed to be printed in task two. So once it reaches three, it it delays task two and it's not printing hey there anymore. There. So there are some of the these are some of the task utility functions that you can use, and we will look into some more task utility functions in the next video.